Hey, and welcome to the first of my tuition videos. Tuition, I think, always sounds a bit, um, always sounds a bit hardcore. So let's uh, let's just call this um, learning by watching, if that if that's any better. I don't know. Um, so who am I? Um, Arrow Photography London. I've been shooting photos for about six years as a hobbyist and I've been doing videography for about two years. Um, all my links, all my stuff's in my profile. I'm not going to spend ages going through all that stuff. You can read that in my bio or in the section underneath the video. So look, let's get started with this. So um, one of the things I've been asked quite a lot is lens flare. I use lens flare, easy for me to say, quite a lot, particularly in my photography and also I've started using my videography and I, um, I use Final Cut Pro on my MacBook. Um, and I, I do have a whole bunch of plugins that I use and I'm going to deal with those in a completely separate session. But what I wanted to show you was how very quickly how you can add um, a lens flare or a flare effect or a sunburst effect to your to your videos in in Final Cut, um, and this would work pretty much the same on any other um, package of using Premiere or, or or whatever. So so what have we so what have we got here? I've got a really simple clip um, that I downloaded. Again, this was just some free footage. Again, the the, the uh, details for this clip are also below, um, and it's just a cornfield, um, and it's a nice shot, um, just some cornfield stuff waving away, but it would look like a lot better with uh, with a bit of extra colouring. So what are we going to do with this? Well, I've actually got two options. I've, I've got a, um, I've got this JPEG, and I just googled sunburst images, and I downloaded this off the internet. Um, so that is just a JPEG image. I can take any still that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to grab it down to my timeline. I'm going to move it to about halfway through. And you'll see this is pretty similar to, um, to if you're familiar with Photoshop. This is, this is all going to be quite a, quite a similar process. So th this is clearly wrong. Um, it looks looks rubbish, and I, I obviously can't can't use that. So I'm going to do a couple of things to this clip. First thing I'm going to do is actually going to rotate it slightly, and I've already got my transform box on. But here you'll see this is the transform box. Uh, again, if you're familiar with Photoshop, transform, crop, distort. I'm going to have this on transform, and I'm just going to rotate this um, slightly. I'm going to imagine the sun's coming up there. Uh, I'm going to enlarge that slightly, but what I'm going to do is actually scale it up um, over here on the right. I'm going to scale it up to about here, uh, and I'm just going to shift this around to where I want it. I think it's going to be right there, and again, similar to Photoshop, we're going to come up here onto blending mode, click on uh, obviously normal is selected. Let's obviously again, I, I won't keep laboring the point, but there's my blend mode and I'm going to choose screen and boom, there we go. So immediately with nothing else happening, that kind of looks pretty good. It's quite nice compared to what was there before. And you'll see as that drops off, you'll see, you'll see the original. So that's quite a nice effect. But what we've got here, particularly with these bokeh spots, um, is of course they don't move, which isn't very realistic as the camera pans across. So what we're going to do is just mess around with a couple of keyframes just to um, just to make this look a bit nicer. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to look to when my footage starts to move. So we'll go for about about here. And again, uh, you've got to have this transform box selected. Um, if you don't have that selected, you won't see the keyframes up here. And I'm going to add a keyframe. And what I'm going to do, because uh, actually, sorry, add a keyframe. I need to have the JPEG selected. Um, what I'm going to do is just move this start to track this and obviously what I'm doing is I'm moving the entire image so I've added a keyframe I'm going to shift on a little bit I'm going to add another keyframe and I'm just clicking and dragging the whole image across and I want to track it up towards the top right um, a bit further add another keyframe 
drag it up again. I'm doing this quite quickly. Obviously, you can spend a lot more time and add a lot more keyframes to make this whole thing a lot smoother um, and to get the uh, and to get the angles exactly right with this type of an image. Um, and there we go. We'll just do that. This is just to show you the principle. Um, so now, when I play that, what we should see is there we go. My flare starts to move, and of course, I could go through the whole clip. And, and gradually move that off. So that is, uh, that's pretty simple. So that is the process just with um, a JPEG. But I'm just going to also show you um, something even easier than using a JPEG. So I'm going to show you, I don't know if this is necessarily an easier way, the principles is exactly the same, but this is a way of doing this without downloading anything using something that's built into um, Final Cut. So if we uh, look up here at the top, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my generators button and you will see in here under titles and generators, um, I've got backgrounds in here and I've got something called Nova in there and I'm going to just click that and I'm going to drag that down here and boom, we have something very, very, very similar here and again, it's not moving, it's not doing anything else. We need to do a couple of things um, differently to, uh, to, to, to get the effect that we want. So with the clip highlighted, I'm going to come over here. The very first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to scale that up and I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. Uh, that looks quite nice, I don't mind. But for me, that's actually a little bit yellow. So um, what I'm going to do is take my color board. I'm just going to drag that across open up my color palette, look at my color, I'm going to give that a slightly redder feel. So I'm actually going to grab um, my master, which is this one. I want to give that a bit of a redder, not too pink, a bit of a redder hue. That I quite like. We will go, we will go with that one. Boom. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Um, now, Again, um, we're going to want to move this. I don't want that um, right in the middle of the clip. Again, with the transform box selected, I'm in transform, so that's fine. I'm just going to click and I'm just going to drag this across. I don't actually want that line because I don't like it. So I'm going to move this across to there. And again, that's a pretty nice effect. Um, and again, as I start to move, uh, we'll get to about here. Um, we can do making sure the clip selected. Uh, I can do exactly the same thing again. Um, I can click a keyframe, drag this across slightly, move on a bit, click a keyframe, drag it across slightly, move on a bit. You've just seen this, so and so on and so forth. Again, I'll run that through. We'll actually get that flare just fade off really nicely and gently off to the right. It's a much more natural feel. So, um, and obviously I would fade that right off to the end of the screen if I wanted to, but you get the idea. You don't need me to bore on any longer than I already have. So um, that's it for my first video. I hope you've found that interesting and informative. Um, I'm going to do a lot more of these and I'm going to definitely pitch them. Um, I'm, I'm no expert in this stuff, so it's going to pitch it uh, uh, kind of my, how I like to learn, which is really visual um, and, and hopefully quite simple. Um, I'm not going to go into this technical detail on stuff because I don't think often people don't want to know that. They just want to see the results um, quickly. So feel free to comment uh, as usual. Feel free to subscribe. Um, of course, not only are my tuition videos here, there'll be obviously some of my work that I can show on YouTube, which isn't much these days, but you can check out some of that. And again, check out my links. Um, have a great day. Stay safe.